So I want to address this matter uh, about regarding the Iranian regime. There's a murderous regime over in Iran that wants to press everybody down and kill people if they don't agree with them. Uh, talking about the executions, as many of you all know, uh, they've started a shit. The regime, not, the, the Iranian terroristic regime, has started sham trials, including the MEK. Today, 104 of those leaders are being put on trial in absentia. They're not even there, and they're still going after them. But I tell you what, when you talk with Miss Miriam Rajabi, and when you see her 10, how many of y'all have seen her 10-point plan? That's what we're talking about. That's what we're talking about. The National Council of Ira uh, Resistance of Iran, or NCRI, uh, is in their endeavor to create a, dem a democratic and inclusive government where there is freedom. Would y'all enjoy freedom if you could get it over there? Absolutely. So it's time that we get together the government more and more and more and more pressure is brought to, to bear on the Iranian regime. The U.S. government needs to cut off any aid to Iran's regime. No money. I don't care what they say it's for, because you know they're going to take that money. They're going to use it for their military machine. They're going to use it to oppress people. They're going to use it to kill people and to export terrorism. It's time for that to stop. In Congress, We've introduced several bills advocating for the safety, security, and rights of the Iranian people. Most recently, my fellow Texan Lance Gooden and introduced House Resolution 627, which condemns the regime for the massacre of political prisoners in 1988. And I can think do this without notes. What was it? Now, sir, about 30,000 people, give or take. I mean, it's unbelievable how bad it has been and still continues to be. I'm proud to be an original co-sponsor of Lance Gooden's bill, which now includes more than half of the Texas delegation, there's 38 of us, includes more than half of the Texas delegation alone. As of, as of yesterday, with the addition of Congressman Russell Fry of South Carolina, we now have 136 co-sponsors from both sides of the aisle. So let me just tell you what y'all all know. The quest for a free Iran is not just an Iranian issue. As recent world events have demonstrated, it affects us all. We're all in this together. So as we gather today, let me tell you, this Congress, this Congressman, our state, y'all, this group here, we're gonna reaffirm our commitment to say we're gonna stand with the Iranians, we're gonna fight for freedom, we're gonna fight for democracy and human rights, we are going to stand right solidly behind Miriam Rajavi and make sure she gets her 10-point plan in place. <clears throat> if we do that, Iran will have a brighter future.